All right, now welcome back to your balanced diet of Tali the good one in Niger show. All right, now time for us to meet our cardiac guests. Now, we don't hear of people where we say uh, they don't decide, say they're not going to chop meat anymore. They don't decide, say they're not going to um, drink milk anymore. And they, they decide this one because of some kind of health and environmental impact where, according to them, this particular life, if they consume meat, they consume things like egg and fear actually get for the human body. Now, I know say so you don't see people where they do one, but not that, that's not why we get this Kajad guest in the house. We go tell us more concerning veganism. This one are people where don't decide, say, whether say na meat yo, whether say na egg yo, whether say na all those dairy products or milk and everything, no, they're not going to chop them. The only thing where they're going to chop, na maybe nuts, vegetable, fruits, and because they want to make their body they very, very kind. Join me, welcome. Joshua Baroking is at the house. Good to have Thank you. Thank you. It's great to be here. Welcome Always to the show. So first of all, we'll start. What thing be veganism? What thing be vegetarian? Who be vegetarian and who be vegan? No one understand what those two words mean. Okay, so many at times, people, they usually they confuse veganism and vegetarianism. But truth be said, there's a clear difference. Mm. So vegetarians basically don't take meat. You know, they chop meat, basically. But uh, vegans or, the, or they, they take some other dairy product like milk, like egg. That's vegetarian. Vegetarian. Okay. They don't mm. they chop only meat or they don't they chop anything when they get blood? We get blood. Well, it depends. Some even take fish. Yes. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. Yes. So, but meat is the cocoa. Yes. Oh. No, meat is the basically the stay far away egg, from egg, milk. Livestock. That you actually take them too. Livestock. Yeah. Okay. Depending. Okay. And many people will be vegetarians. Many at times, not health issues. Okay. You understand they get protein intolerance, you know, they can't take enough meat and mm. stuff like that. So, but vegans, on the other hand, they don't do any dairy product at all. And they are levels to, they are levels to veganism. But they, they, they chop meat? Vegans. Yes. They don't, they don't eat meat. They are levels they to fish. veganism. They don't eat fish. They don't, they don't chop egg, meat, they get blood. Milk at all. Uh -huh. Even, even there, are, there, are, there are some vegans who don't even wear leather belts and leather shoes. Oh, oh, it don't okay. be shoes now. Yes, mm. because they are because dairy they're products. From, they're yeah, they carry oh. come from animals. So for you now, which one, which one you be, okay. and why you the dwam? Which one you be? You yeah. be vegan or you be vegetarian? So I'm, I'm, I'm vegan. So that would be say you know they chop, you know they chop anything. We get, we, we, we now from blood. Yeah. And you don't take any of the dairy product like egg. Yeah. Like milk. Yeah. Like cheese. Yeah. You don't take any of those things. Yeah, but you know there are levels to it. I still do. It couple of leather, but there are levels to it. Okay. And we're hoping that, you know, it's a process. Okay. You know, like, person like me, I was born in Nigeria, and definitely I started eating meat and transitioning into that space, you know, it's not really easy. It's a process. It takes time, you know, to fully get into that space of being you know, vegan. So make we understand, when people make decisions, say they don't want to chop um, meat, fish, egg, or any other thing, we, we get milk or thereabouts, why did they make the decision? Doesn't mean that if you, they take all those things, if you affect your body, not really. You know, people go vegan for different reasons. Okay, so why just, you go vegan? Okay, personally, my first thing is environment. Uh, so I have a background in climate action advocacy, and uh, meat con meat production is one of the major, you know, emitters of greenhouse gases in the world. I was going to tell you something before we came before we came live that if cows, if the whole cows in the world were a country, they would be the third highest emitter of greenhouse gases after U.S. and China. Okay. And because of the population. And yeah, and if everybody in the world went vegan today, about 16% of greenhouse gases would be mitigated. Only 16% of the whole world? <laughs> yes. The whole world not, of that, billions not, of, of people? That's not only. So but apart from environmental thing, causes, the way they make people they go into, yeah. what other reason so they health, make people they go into? Health, health benefits, you know, like some people have like uh, protein intolerance, some people mm -hmm. have like fatty liver, and then the only thing that their body can absorb um, well right now is... Uh, um, vegetables. Let me try to take a personal with you now because uh, now you day with us inside yeah. the studio. So I want me people relate to your story. Now apart from the environmental aspect, aspect yeah. why you decide to actually go secondly, vegan? Secondly okay. is uh, animal justice. So in Nigeria, you know, it's a very undermined so people know they really talk about. But animals have rights too. Animals, so because animals are sentient beings. So I was talking with a friend, and, and she was like, she sees uh, meat as cops. Mm. Like dead body. Like dead body. Mm. Like she feasting on a corpse. You know, it's as, it's as grievous as that. Fun fact, in Lagos, every day, 6,000 cows are killed in Lagos every day for consumption. 6,000. 164 trailers come 
from the north to Lagos every day. So if you're looking at if you're looking at the carbon footprint of that alone, that's a whole lot. Now, um, yeah, now good thing say you they come outside. They let us know this aspect of it because some other people they think I'm from the economic aspect. Now, in the economic aspect, you don't talk and now say like six thousand cows are being killed every, every day in Lagos, yeah. for example. That would mean say people are being employed. True. To do that job. True. That means say, other businesses are thriving based on that 6,000 cows that are being killed every day. Mm -hmm. And um, so for some people, they say, and say there's a lot of economic benefits yeah. in killing animals for inside Lagos State. Tell us the economic benefits of not killing these animals in Lagos State, for example. So definitely there are alternatives to it. Uh, I have a friend. Because you're, you're saying that those people that have jobs yeah. from there will be jobless if they stop it. <laughs> so, which other, yeah, so which other way will fit to re recreate those kind of jobs, how economically beneficial, beneficial will it be they? for us to stop killing 6,000 cows in Lagos State daily? So first thing, uh, to be rational, I'll say it's impossible to stop meat consumption in the, in, in the world totally. Very true. You know, but we want to bring a balance to it first mm -hmm. off. So not everybody's going to lose their job, but some people will lose the job. And then they open up another industry, that's the plant-based industry, definitely. So if a lot of people go plant-based, people will get employed in the plant-based industry, that's the agriculture industry. So definitely that's another economic benefit for it. And then we can even look at start, start, starting to export our products from Nigeria to other parts of the world we need it. So oh. the more manpower we have there, the more money, the more revenue, yeah, and the more stand of leave for people that are working there. Okay, they get people, there's this belief where people they get, well, where me, I be they get, say, mm. those who decide to go vegans, that they like some kind of nutrients and proteins where they're supposed to get, because whether I would like them or not, meat, fish, egg and um, some of the dairy Please. products you get they get their own health they get their own benefits for inside our body you believe say you are lacking some nutrients or proteins not really you know this question comes up every time exactly you know in as much as there is people feel like veganism is great you have, you have vegan chunks as well like vegan junks rather as well we have vegan burgers and so no matter no matter what you're eating you need to eat healthy First things first, you need to find out a food plan. Research a food plan that works best for you. Like someone who's fat cannot just take out fatty food for you. Definitely, many, many, many people will go vegan at first, lose weight many a time because exactly because yeah, now they vegetate, now they and grass, now they chop. And then your body, your body has to make up, you know, for mm -hmm. the fat with the carbohydrates and stuff like that. And then you tend to break down. That's why before you try, like as I say, it's a process. Yeah. For me, I've been eating meat all my life. I just mm -hmm. stop one day and say I want to uh, mm -hmm. start eating. Veggies, it's hard. Sometimes you take out, take out the fish first. Most times you take out the fish first, then the meat. It's a process gradually. And for some know, people, it's a strong temptation we're talking just about. Know I, mean, for you. I mean, for, for, for certain places, for instance, even for Lagos here, we know say sometimes if you buy 20 naira rice, yeah. if you buy a uh, uh, but meat, you go buy on top, if you be in a 150 naira worth of meat, <laughs> maybe like so for every spoon of rice I'm taking, there's yeah, a big lump that will look you know, so it's a big temptation. <laughs> for some people, they will tell you it's almost impossible Practical for it for them impossible. to even try and do it. But yeah. for you, we don't they try and we don't they do them. It's been a success for yeah. you. How person fits transist from transist from moving that's moving from being a non-vegan yeah. into a vegan or a non-vegetarian yeah. into a vegetarian? How? Just give us some fun because you know, say for people when it comes to food and dieting, yeah. if it's not fun, they, <laughs> they will not keep at it. They, they don't do How it. they fit to do them? So first, you need to belong to a community. Doing it alone is very difficult. To be around people who are vegans, you know, quite importantly. So, I, like in Lagos, a small community of people who are vegans, not really small, but, you know, anger of vegan, vegan kitchens. And then you can begin to have conversations around veganism and begin to see more light in veganism. Because if you look at a person, they push you to do them. Only you just wake up so you don't want to chop meat. Everybody around you, they chop meat. Definitely, you'll be tempted. How affordable is a lifestyle? Yeah, that's, that's the problem. It's not really affordable. But, mm. but the good thing is now in Lagos, a lot of vegan kitchens opening up. We have one um, around. Okay. Yeah. Um, so quickly, we get just few seconds yeah. to go. How people reaction when they see, say, um, you, you don't go vegan, especially your parents? Weird, you know. They feel like you're a weirdo. Why do you have to <laughs> do that? But with time, you know, they get to accept knowledge. The world is gradually changing and there are new thoughts and concepts coming up. You know, people are beginning to accept the concept and begin to see justice and other lights, especially in the animal, in the animal, you know, space of it. All right. All right, thank you justice. very much. So you enter inside the house to talk more concerning Always veganism. Pleasure. Are you online? Do you have a social Yeah, media so you can follow us at Niger Goes Vegan everywhere. Niger oh, Goes Niger Vegan. Goes vegan. Instagram, Facebook, social media, Twitter, general. Twitter, generally, Niger Goes Vegan. And personally, at Borokini Joshua.
Rokini Joshua, thank you so much for coming inside the Always studio. And in the spirit of going vegan, we I brought you something that is not. This is not vegan. Me, I no, will talk. I will talk my fish. I will talk my fish. I need flesh. It doesn't have blood in it, so that's that's in respect yeah. of that. So in the spirit, in the spirit of all of that, I'm not the best ever. The best. To enjoy more of this, our will go get videos when you just watch. Press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.